How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to wirelessly transfer your photos from your computer to your Kindle Fire HD, okay? Now the first thing we need to do is uh, on our computer there's some software we need to download. So we're going to switch over to the computer and I'm going to show you how to download that first. Then we're going to jump back over to the Kindle and I'm going to show you how easy it is to transfer them. Alright, so let's jump to our computer. All right, so now we're on the computer here, and the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to this website I'm on right now, www.amazon.com slash cloud drive, C-L-O-U-D-D-R-I-V-E. And once you get to this website, uh, you want to go ahead and click on Get Started by, down, by installing our free desktop app, so click on there. And I'll have the link in the description as well in case you didn't um, weren't able to get it. So a box is going to pop up. It's going to ask you if you want to run or save. We're going to go ahead and hit Run. And what it's going to do is it's going to start downloading the software to your computer. So that's the first step is we're going to have to uh, transfer this, uh, not transfer, we're going to have to download the software that's going to make it easy to do our different transfers. So now what you're going to do, a box pops up, Amazon Cloud Drive Setup, hit Install, let it do its quick installation, which shouldn't take but a couple of seconds. Be a little patient with it. And it's, this is so awesome that they've added all this because the Kindle from last year, um, the first Kindle, you, as far as I know, you couldn't transfer stuff wirelessly. You had to plug it into the computer. And that is one of the options in transferring music is you can plug, um, basically plug in a cable right to the computer and do the transfer for music, pictures, documents, whatever. But it's a little bit easier when um, you can just do it wirelessly. And I'm going to show you that in a couple seconds here. So installation is just about done. Copying a couple files, this and that, blah blah blah. So go ahead and let that finish. This is cool because um, the app is so user friendly. I'm going to go over a couple of tweaks you can do just to make it even easier to uh, run it. And when you want to transfer something, it's literally going to be scary how fast you'll be able to do it now. So, um, Getting real close here, just about done, hopefully. And then we'll move on and we'll show all the fun stuff. There we go. All right, setup is complete. Hit finish. And so now I'm going to go to my desktop. All right, so the first things first. You're gonna to have to sign into your account, okay? So you're gonna put in your email. I'm gonna type in my email information and hit sign in. And what it'll do is it'll now connect all of your Amazon stuff, or it'll basically connect your cloud to the stuff. So here's the cool part: it kind of breaks down what you get with the drive. So it's saying choose files or photos from your computer to upload to the cloud drive. You have five gigabytes of online free storage available room for over 2,000 pictures. So you can put a lot of pictures on there. Hit next. Right-click files to upload them. So if you just right-click on any picture, when you hit send to, you can send it right to your cloud drive and it makes it, you know, a lot faster. Next, or you can just drag the file right to this little icon. You actually have it down here, this little cloud. You can drag it and then it will just store it right into the cloud like that. Hit next, and you can also go on the website and you can download those pictures from any computer. So that's also cool too. Again, this is the website Amazon.com slash cloud drive. We're gonna hit finish. And now we have this box that pops up. I'm gonna go over that box in a second, but the first thing you need to do is come down here to this little arrow, click on customize, and you want to come down to uh that's not it. Keep going until you see cloud drive. It's somewhere in here, I must have passed it. Here we go. Amazon Cloud Drive. So right now, uh, I think I already said it previously, but it shows show icon notifications. Normally, it's it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be set on only show notifications. So make sure you switch this to show icon notifications. What that means is you'll always see the cloud down here. So it'll make it easier when you do want to transfer something. It'll just already be there, invisible. Okay. A little tweak. Press OK. So now we have uh, this little box right here. 
and this box won't always be here we can actually close this but when you're ready to transfer a file all you have to do is this come down to the cloud click on it that's not it wrong button click on the cloud you're gonna right click and then click uh, open upload window and that'll bring this little box right here and so um, this is the main step let me show you how to transfer your pictures okay so the first thing there's there's like three different ways you can do this so I'm gonna break it down make it real simple for you so we have this box here okay and so I'm gonna go find a picture I'm gonna go to my pictures I have this cup of coffee right here okay so I can simply click on it and just drag it right over here and drop it right in there okay that's the first way to move a picture and as you'll see down here it tells you that now it started uploading your file so that's how you know that what you did was right there's another way to do this I can take this picture Uncle Sam here and instead of dragging him here I can just go ahead and drag him to the little cloud right there and see how it says plus let it go and the box will pop up again that's gonna tell you that it started to upload there you go that's how we know we did it right uh, and then there, there's two other ways to do this on the picture itself let's say this flag we can right click and there's gonna be an option in here um, let's see if we go to send to and we go to the right now you're gonna see Amazon cloud drive we can send it right from the drive just by right clicking the picture I can click there and it's gonna send it and a box will pop up right here that's gonna tell me that there it is that it's uploading here's the last way you can do a folder full of pictures too to save yourself some time I have this this folder right here <laughs> excuse me and so I can do one of those three ways to upload it I can either drag it right here I can drag it down here or I can simply right click on that folder go to send to and go to Amazon Cloud Drive and that easy it's gonna send all that right to the cloud for me okay and it works pretty quick um, it will depend on your internet connection but uh, when I usually have done a couple of transfer tests it's never taking more than a couple of minutes so now that we <laughs> excuse me sorry guys keep sneezing there um, now that we've done that I'm gonna switch back to the Kindle and then we're gonna be able to see where the pictures are and uh, how they transferred all right so stay tuned or we're pretty much there all right, so we're back here on our Kindle now. We just dropped a couple of photos into the cloud, and now we can go back to see, did the photos upload? Great question. First thing you want to do is go to Photos, which is going to be up here. You may have to drag yourself to the left to get to here. Tap on Photos, and there are pictures, okay? Now, let me kind of break this down for you. You have two sections. You have Cloud and you have Device. You click on Device. Device is only going to show you the photos that are actually saved onto the Kindle. Right now... If we go to cloud, these are all the pictures that we've uploaded into the cloud. Now, the way the cloud works is when you're connected with the internet, you can see all those pictures, but when you're not connected, you can't see them. So what you'll want to do is actually download those to the Kindle so that they'll save onto here. So just a quick disclaimer, I wanted to make sure I explain that to you. So remember we upload those pictures. If we tap on uploads right here, we have the cup of coffee. And it's loading, so that means, oh, there's our flag, and then right here it should be Uncle Sam. So those are those three pictures that we uploaded, and we did the, di the three different methods on how to upload them. We're going to go back now. This is the folder. Remember, we right-clicked on that folder, and we just told it to upload to the cloud. So now that whole folder of pictures is uploaded. Now, it's obviously taking a little long, but here we go. Those are all the pictures, and it puts it in a nice little uh, lock section. You know, the way it kind of puts them all together. If we tap on a picture, we can see it bigger, or we can swipe like that. So this is really cool, and they've made it so much simpler now where you don't even have to use the USB cable if you don't want to, but you have that option too. So there's all our pictures there. Now check this out. Uh, any picture, you can actually email it right from your Kindle. If we tap on the email, the little folder right here, you just tap on the picture, and we can do multiple, one, two, three whatever and you could actually email the picture as well right from the Kindle uh, to someone else so that's a really cool feature as well we're not gonna go real big into that I'm gonna have a sort of video on how to do that but um, just a couple of ways that makes it easier for you and we just go back 
And so now there are pictures. Now the last thing is, how do we download them so that they save onto our Kindle? Great question. Let me answer that for you. So let's do the uploads first. Tap on uploads. Maybe of these three pictures, you know, I only want the picture of Uncle Sam to actually stay on the Kindle. I'm going to tap, and I'm going to show you my finger. Just hold down on it until a box pops up, and it's going to ask you download or delete. I'm going to hit download. And it says now it's downloading to your device. So that's simple. It's going to take it from the cloud and actually move it onto your Kindle. Let's go back. Now let's do this folder. What if we want this whole folder of pictures to save on there? We don't want to go to each picture one by one and have to hit download. So I'm just going to hold down on the whole folder. And I'm going to click download. And you can also even add to favorites. You can even rename it, whatever. I'm going to hit download. And now it says now downloading to your device. So real simple. And if we tap device here, guess what? Now we don't just have this picture. We have our picture of Uncle Sam. And we have our whole folder of pictures that's being downloaded as we speak. So if we disconnect the internet, it doesn't matter because our, folder, our pictures have now been saved onto the Kindle. So... There that is, and, and this is basically, in a nutshell, the process of, of transferring your photos wirelessly to your Kindle, um, and it just makes it a lot easier. Now, I'm going to post some other videos on transferring pictures. I'm going to show you how to do it from a USB cable if, if you don't want to do it wirelessly, and I'm also going to show you how to do it from, uh, there's a way you can transfer your Facebook pictures, and you can basically move them right into um, the Kindle, too, so I'm going to show you that in a couple of videos, too, so... Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you liked the video if you did. Subscribe to H2Tech videos and keep watching, alright? Have a good one.